What's going on, collectives? It is your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So let's tap in, collectives. Let's see what you need to know. Let's see what you got coming towards you for this weekend, and I'm going to ask my Archangel Michael and the leg to protect me. Protect me as I channel this reading. Protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear all my chakras, and let's tap in, collectives. All right, so forgiveness. Somebody wants your forgiveness. This this reading is going to be about forgiveness. Um, you might need to forgive somebody, right? This could even be about forgiving so that way you can heal a lot of trauma with inside yourself. Remember, forgiveness does not mean cutting somebody off the hook. It means simply not having that bitterness and hatred and a spirit of retaliation. When it comes to, you know, being wounded. Okay. So let's see. Let's keep going. What else spirit? Did y'all see how that came out? That is supposed to be new beginnings. And it came out in fucking reverse. Did you see how that flipped out? So this is going to be a reading about somebody not receiving and being granted new beginnings because of forgiveness, because they had a lot of hatred in their heart, because they didn't want to move past certain things, because they were so scorned, because they were so focused on the other person receiving karma for what they've done instead of just Forgiving and going on with your life without that bitterness. All right. And when I tell you this is a season of new beginnings, October will never be the same. All right. Somebody's going to have to redo. Somebody has going to have to revisit and clean up their old cycle. All right. And a lot of it is going to be letting things go. Letting that past hurt go. Letting that spirit of retaliation and envy go. All right. So. Wow. Wow. All right, peaceful resolution. So we got peaceful resolution. Let's see what else. Oh my gosh. Do you see these cards? Somebody's been asking for forgiveness from God and to have a peaceful resolution. And literally the angel said no. I'm telling you guys, you're going to see a lot of people trying to repent and trying to right their wrongs for the evil deeds that they've done. And your angels are simply saying, no, there will not be no peaceful resolution and there will not be no um, beginnings, new beginnings. Because when you had a chance to heal, somebody did not simply do it. And I'm telling you, God's wrath is worse than anything. All right. So. A peaceful resolution, no. Wow. It's like we at war. <laughs> Abundance. This is about somebody's stability. This is somebody about this is about somebody's money. This is about somebody's abundance and prosperity. You know, abundance is peace, a peace of mind, security, all right, privacy, joy, fulfillment. That's all of a part of abundance. Wisdom, wisdom to know how to keep the abundance. And get more information. So somebody don't have enough information. Somebody don't have enough wisdom yet to, to get granted the abundance that they've been asking for. All right. Some, somebody needs to get more information on, on about, on why they going through this. Why, uh, why did they make the decisions that they've made? All right. And it's a real big no. 
Somebody keeps wanting a peaceful resolution when it comes to the abundance. That's what it is. And spirit is saying no because somebody don't have all of the tools, the wisdom, the knowledge to, to keep that. Keep the abundance that they're asking. All right. So because somebody didn't forgive, because somebody didn't want to get over a situation, that's why there won't be new, no new beginnings in this abundance. That is crazy. All right. So spirit, give me more on this forgiveness, please. What what needed to be forgiven? What needed to get get um get past or get over? And I, you know, with all of this blue and, you know, blue signifying your crown chakra, your mind, you know, your thoughts, okay, and blue signifying your emotions and how you feel about your thoughts and your, your mind, right? And then purple signifying, you know, spirituality, somebody, somebody was stuck being more angrier than trying to heal their emotions, Spirit, give me more um, on this forgiveness, please, and thank you. Somebody could have been born in 96 or 69. Wow. They are trapped in their emotion. What did I say? Thank you, Spirit. What did I just say? The blue signifies your thoughts, your minds. What that's, These are swords that tra tra has trapped somebody in their own mind. These are fears. These are... These are things that they've done and conscience decisions that they chose to make. Because when the swords are down, those that's a decision made from you. And when the swords are up, you there's, there's room for negotiation. But these are eight different test and conscience decisions that somebody chose to do because they was bitter, because they was angry and they didn't want to forgive the situation and move on. This could have been lies. This could have been tarnish of your character. This could have been just a whole bunch of things. But now they are trapped in their own lies. They are trapped in their own demise. All because of forgiveness. Spirit, um, what is this new beginnings in reverse? Oh, wow. There would not be no... It's the abundance. Somebody is is asking for new beginnings in work, in stability, in a family, in, in their peace, in something that they are trying to work on. You know, your work, your career. That is a big fat no. Somebody is not receiving any type of new beginnings. And for some of you guys, this could have been somebody at work that was trying to tarnish you because... They felt um, offended or something by something from the past. Because that's the only reason why you need to forgive. Somebody was holding on to the past. And that's not how you are getting new beginnings. So, again, no new beginnings in work. That is so crazy. And, you know, for the angels and God to be doing this, somebody is being taught a, a lesson. Oh, my gosh. Literally, y'all, I was just about to clarify peaceful resolution and it literally says no, right? This, God is confirming all these cause. This is no peace. This is not a sound mind. This is you worrying about constant things. This is not a peaceful resolution. This is, this is not. Somebody is being taught a lesson. And these are swords. This is all surrounding how somebody communicated a situation or intended on handling a situation. I got them like this. Literally, the four swords in reverse is no peace. Spirit, give me, give me more on this no. Like, why is why is it a big fat no for this person in they in their mind? They must have made a lot of wrong and foul conscience decisions based around work or money. Oh. If somebody was Waiting on an inheritance, it's a no. If somebody was waiting on a big lump sum of money, it's a no. I'm so sorry. 
I am so sorry that I have to be the one to deliver this news. Sometimes, you know, the readings are also very shocking to the readers, but these are the messages that has to get out. All right. It is a no. Somebody thought that they was going to inherit something. Somebody was asking for a peaceful resolution when it comes to them getting a lump sum of money. Somebody was asking for a peaceful resolution when it comes to getting this new beginning with this money. And it's a no. Wow. And this is abundance. This is pinnacles and your mind. These are, these are the wrong decisions. Risk it. Um, you risk um, for, for, for money. For material. Spirit, give me more in abundance. What is this abundance about? Please and thank you. Why is God confirming these cards like this? This literally stands for abundance. The nine of pentacles. Somebody was banking on this money to come up. You hear me? But they haven't earned it. The nine of pentacles is independent success. It's literally all your hard work paying off. It's like the grind paying off. You challenging yourself. You sacrificing certain shit. You know, you growing into your higher self. You aligning your decisions. They didn't work for this abundance. Spirit, give me more on this. Get more information. Love. Love. All right. Somebody did some foul shit. In a relationship for clout, for money. All right. Somebody's if the choices that they made in a relationship. Oh my gosh, the, the hidden and dark choices that they made and child. This was a karmic energy. You hear me of the dark. Remember, this is a silent war, all right, between light and dark energy. And believe it or not, a lot of you guys was in relationships with people of dark energy. You hear me? Look, but not no more. Not no more. You done made it away. You hear me? You done got up out of there. You was in a relationship. You hear me? With somebody you just ended it with. They are now grieving the loss that they can't do all of this shit no more. Look look what they're going through. They have no time on their hands to, to attack you no more. All right, the dark energy don't have no, no chance with you. These are angel cards. These are what the angels are saying. That's why it's no peaceful resolution because God already seen what this person was trying to do. This person was asking for peaceful resolution and a money because they know that the devil done got them into so much karmic shit in, in regards to money. This is Capricorn energy. This is about your temptations and you having control over yourself when it comes to your desires and temptations. Like how far are you willing to go for your desires and temptations? And when I talk about all of this that somebody is going through and no peaceful resolution and all of this is because they were overly possessive in a relationship. They wanted to make y'all suffer. And I don't know if y'all seen the other reading, um, but go watch that um, Delilah reading. All right. Um, I don't know if this is a masculine energy, but whoever you was in a long term relationship with. All right. They was they was the enemy. They was uh, they was a secret enemy. They were a secret enemy. All right. And the choices that they've made when it came to a divine counterpart because of their own greed is what got them with no and traps and no new beginnings. Wow. Spirit, who is this devil? Who is this devil, please? Y'all, the devil was a karmic feminine and her queen of swords energy. Gemini. Libra or Aquarius. This was a karmic feminine that is going through all of this right now. This karmic feminine that you with has never forgiven you fully for whatever you've done. They never forgave nobody fully. And they were very vindictive 
all right, had a spirit of vendetta, all right? And this is why they've been asking God for new beginnings and their work and their stability. And God keeps saying no, all right? They keep asking for a peaceful resolution in a relationship and in their finances, God is saying no, all right? They were supposed to receive a big, huge payout and inheritance. God is saying no, okay? They was expecting to be living good. Often that done made plans with their abundance. God said, no, you need to get more information because whatever you was doing to somebody that you love in the dark and in the secret, all right, the choices you made as a queen of swords, somebody that's supposed to be a warrior of truth and is able to discern light and dark energy, Okay, you have been exposed, all right? And that's why you feel like this because you thought acting out in karmic energy and intentionally doing things that were hitting in a relationship wasn't gonna get caught. This is why you're feeling like that. That is crazy. Spirit, so who is this lover's call? Who was, who was in a relate? Who, who, what was she doing in a relationship? What is this lover's call? That person is getting justice. That person is getting justice. Whoever it was. This could be a number of people. All right. Receiving justice. Because they have cut the ties. And a bond that they have with this queen of swords. Wow. Spirit. Give me more on this justice. I'm telling you. Cosmic justice will always come into play. Spirit. Give me more on this justice. This is giving Libra energy. Oh my gosh. Spirit, give me um, more on this. Um, two of swords and his justice. All right. So somebody was stuck. All right. So whoever they were in a relationship, they were stuck. All right. They couldn't go nowhere. All right. They couldn't. They were unhappy. They were just satisfied, even with themselves, all right? They were in a state of nostalgia, just like hanging in there, all right? Not doing nothing. And I feel like it was for them to be enlightened about how dark and how devious that person was so that way they won't get caught up in all of this shit because that person ain't going nowhere. Okay, um... Wow, Spirit, give me more on this moon call. What did the Queen of Swords do in the dark? This is crazy. Wow, she did something very spiteful when it comes to family. All right, that's probably what the inherited was. All right, so-called family, she did a lot of dark things to get that money. You hear me? A lot of dark things, and it's being exposed. That's fucked up. Yup. She thought she was going to get some type of money. Anything more on this lover's card? Who is this in this energy? The page of wands. The queen of pentacles. Poof. The two of pentacles. The emperor. All right. So this emperor may have been weighing their options out or going through um, a separation and, you know, talking to another woman. You know, the page of wands is like conversations. All right. Whoever they were talking to were in their queen of pentacles energy. All right, this is somebody that's in a divine feminine energy. This is somebody that's earthly, really, really down to earth. All right, they are somebody that that stated it's like giving me like um kitchen witch, you know, earthly, um, very good with money, very, very, very good with money. Okay, yeah, and for a lot of you guys, it's looking like all of this fighting and stuff is over. All right, there's a new beginning happening. Okay, it's a new start happening. 
And this is just a way, I think, of God exposing somebody of all the shit that they've done in the dark to family, to lovers, all right, just to like win, win something, all right? And it caused a lot of unnecessary chaos that they are now cleaning up because all of their doors are closed. Unbelievable reading, okay? Unbelievable reading, um... If you guys are the Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor, if you guys do to start to work together, it looks like you guys really, really could be like a powerful couple. All right. Because you and your Queen of Pentacles energy, he's in his Emperor energy. All right. And then you got the Ace of Pentacles right here. This also could be somebody you know from a past or this could be an age gap. All right. But I hope this helps you guys. I hope... Um, you have confirmation or whatever you was thinking. And I love you so much. And I'll see you in the next video.